Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back to another episode of An Hour Max with Max. And uh, the quote of the day. Let's jump right into it. We all wear a mask and the time comes when we cannot remove them without removing our own skin. Andre Berthiel. Yes, I'm French, dude. How y'all doing? Yeah, how you doing? What y'all up to? <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, I know, huh? Hey, I mean, what you gonna do about it? Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. Oh, how am I doing? I'm doing good. What am I? How I'm feeling? I'm feeling all right. Yeah, feeling all right. Feeling good. Feeling baseline down. Feeling happy-ish, dare I say it. Um, Just out here. Feeling myself, bro. I mean, I was feeling a little pissed. I was a little pissed. Because I was 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 25 minutes into the pod. And uh, it stopped. It just stopped. And I went to play it back. And uh sounded like fucking RoboCop. So, I took a deep breath, finished the rest of my caffeinated energy drink, took a hit from one of the vape pens your boy got, and uh, just jumped right back into it. Now, I know I don't have anger issues for a fact, for that one simple reason, that I didn't. Turn off the goddamn laptop and just sit back down and watch TV. Because. What the. Actual. Fuck. You feel me? Oh, what am I thinking? I'm thinking, damn. How did I just do that shit? I feel. How how that happened. How that happened. We tested one, two, three, three different times. And, you know, it just. It just happened. It just happened to happen. When it happened, it just happened. When it happened, it happened to happen. It done did it again. You know? Am I pissed? No. Sister walking back and forth in the hallway making a bunch of random ass noises. Am I pissed? No. Should I be? Yeah. Would I be? Yeah. Could I be? Of course. Am I going to be? (laughs) Not really. Not really. Some people do a white flag. I'm throwing in the black flag. You know? Because not really. Fun fact. Peregrine falcons are the fastest animals alive. Probably of all time. Yeah. That fact always makes me happy. Peregrine, I guess that's how you say it, peregrine, peregrine, falcon, peregrine falcons, fastest animals alive, did you know, if you didn't know, now you do, if you didn't know now, if you didn't know then, you did know now, um, yeah man, fastest animals alive, ever. Yeah, God took his time with designing this little motherfucker, man, man. This motherfucker fly up to high-ass distances and come swooping down at speeds approximately 240 miles per hour. These little jets with heartbeats and organs and feelings of hunger and pain just comes in, swooping in, and just nosedives. It's like 
It's like Pokemon. It's like, oh, this is a real life Pidgeotto. Or Pidgeot, whatever. But it's like tiny. It's a tiny Pidgeot. And there's a video, if you look it up, of it like eating. It's like attacking like uh, a goose. A duck. I don't know why the fuck they'd be in the same place. But uh, yeah, man. Them motherfuckers just be back and forth with it. Swooping in and out. Swooping in and out. This video was like, it looked like there was two falcons. But it probably was just one. Swooping in and out. Oh, and I'm back. You know, I just had to take a brief pause check the i had to check it i had to check the cast make sure it was recording or was, i had to make sure i wasn't sounding like robocop and we good because i'm not where was i swooping in and out swooping in and out then i cut the the way i'm gonna cut this right this little scene you probably didn't even notice but i, I was two places at once just like a pair of green falcon how come we don't learn this shit? Hey, move over. Makes a cheetah look like a little bitch. Makes makes a cheetah look like a goddamn turtle. Cars don't even go that fast. You know? Pidgeot. Pid, Pidgeotto used fly. This used fly attack back and forth. One would even say Pidgeotto used quick attack. Super effective on a bird and anything and on on anything. Sometimes when I'm wrecking pussy and I know it's a good one, I just hear cha cha cha. <laughs> Max's Max's penis is super effective. <laughs> imagine fucking somebody. Imagine fucking somebody that you're not compatible with. It's just like how'd it go? <laughs> Not very effective. <laughs> somebody you're smashing somebody you're compatible with. Super effective. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. Fucking somebody you're uh, you're not compatible with. Not very effective. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Uh, if you want, if you're a poke, if you play, if you ever played Pokemon, Game Boy colored out, or Game Boy Advance, whatever. If you ever played Pokemon, you understand those. You understand it down. That shit's hilarious. That's what we think about here. That's how we we just we just vibe. We just vibe. That's you know, shit just comes out organically. Ain't shit planned, but uh, ain't shit planned, but turning the laptop on. You know, might have a few topics I want to discuss, but that's about it. I don't know. I don't know. I never know. But but do I know then? I mean, Picasso never knew who's painting fucking legendary ass art. Or did he? Something to think about. Something to chow down next time you. Next time you eating your little ramen noodles, looking at shit on the computer. There's, it just lets you think about something, you know. <laughs> lets you know, you know, maybe you'll notice something. You know what I noticed? I noticed I've been changing. But I always seem to do around this time, you know. You know, I, you always, I always seem to start changing around this time. Virgo season had me organized. Getting real dainty with it. <laughs> Getting real dainty with it. Virgo had my, you know, I was out here cleaning up. Cleaning up shop. In my reality and outside my reality, you know. Just trying to clean up shop. Dropped a few bad habits. Added a couple good ones. Started to clean up. Labor season came. Started 
started looking drippy as a motherfucker. Dripping like a faucet ass nigga. Leaky, leaky type ass nigga. Walking around with hip holsters full of mop sticks because the drip is, it's it's unavoidable. Someone's going to slip and slide. And I can't have, I can't have, I, I don't have insurance for that shit. Hip holsters with mop sticks. Because I don't want motherfuckers to slip and slide and die. And then they blame me. Because the drip was overwhelming. It's like, yeah, he's wearing two different socks. Yeah, his shoes are matching his socks. Yeah, he has the black jeans and the Ethica's on. Yeah, his top's matching the shoes and the socks. Yeah, it's very simple and it's very monochromatic. It's like, and the next thing you know, you unearthed. You're somewhere else. And GPS, no no man-made GPS in the world knows where the fuck you are. No satellite, no secret dark aging government, nobody in the world knows where you're at. Because you're gone. Might as well have been kidnapped by UFO. Which would be a good L. But at the same time, it's like, nah. Because the only L you want to take is the one that called living. So, anyway. So, you move from hip holsters for the mop stick season right into... Scorpio season Well I tend to get a little more mysterious with it You know I might not go to the stash Heavy on the might Um No I probably will An 85% chance No probably 85% chance I might still go You know But I just want to be on my own shit You know I'm most certainly going to go Probably, maybe. If anything, yes. No, actually, I'm 100% going to go. But I'm going to sit in the corner and just paint my pictures like a little retarded kid with crayons and and just being left unattended. Now, I'm just kidding. It's all jokes here, guys. Can't cancel me because I don't even exist. It's a figment of fiction. I'm just here because enough people believe. <laughs> enough people believe in me, and I I've took solid form. But yeah, I get real. I get real fucking uh, real in my head. I do a lot of soul searching. I do a lot of, like. I kill off some of my old me's to, to allow the new me to have some more space. It's like, say, there's like a bunch of me's living in my apartment, and Scorpio season comes, and I just start Michael Myers in them, and fucking Jason Voorhees in them, and Freddy Krueger off, and it's like I'm just Texas Chainsaw. I'm killing all these motherfuckers. I'm cleaning house, and whoever survives, guess what? They kill me. So the guy who was doing the big messy massacre killing, he, they killed me. That me, being the guy killing them, they kill me. And guess what? They take over. Now they have this big luxurious thing called whatever. This big vacuum of whatever they want. And now they can fill it with new shit. Because all the other me's have been brutally murdered in a horror-like fashion, in the most horrible, gruesome of ways. Ways that wasn't even needed. I just fold one of my, I fold, I fold the alcoholic addict into me, and I throw him in a fucking oven. 
and put a chair in front of it and turn it up to like 90 degrees. Nigga's already dead. He snapped my back and fed me in the oven. He bent me backwards. Bent, bent, bent me backwards. Not, like not the way, not not where I'm face to face with my with my little brother, aka my dick. I'm laying on my ass, and it looks like I'm laying comfortably, but I'm dead. Looks like I'm dead asleep, you know. Pa-pa-tch. But and then he puts me in the oven, and it slow roasts me like a turkey. Then mom comes home smelling burnt something, burnt flesh, and then she looks and says, "Me." She smells my party city glasses melting. And my Velcro hair catching. And she doesn't hear my ribbit, ribbit voice. And boom. But a new me's in the room. And I'm just like, hey, hi. Hi. I painted, I, I painted the walls red. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. It was more my color. But <laughs> where was I going with this shit? Totally forgot. But yeah, man, come on, come on. Scorpio season, man. Scorpio season got me acting different. Um. Anyways, just reminded me. So I was at the stash, right? So I was at the stash, right? You know, my local watering hole, come by, see me, buy me a cranberry vodka drink. Much appreciated. And I'll tell you stories. <laughs> oh, God, well, I'll tell you, well, I'll tell you some, some fucking, some stories, man. I'll tell you some parables. Made up stories made to change people. Yeah, that's what the whole Bible is. Hey, it's just a bunch of, hey, isn't everything that is made up shit meant to help people? That's a whole nother story. But, yeah. So, this was around, this is towards the end of Hip Hosters with Mopsticks on a season. A.K. Drip. Drip. Season. And, uh, so I'm in there with a fresh haircut. And I seen... I seen somebody that I thought I buried, you know. You know, you know, you catch a body and I just put him in the grave. I don't even, you know, like I forgot the song with Kilani. I think it was Kilani and uh, Janaco. But yeah, man, I got somebody that I take to the grave. And uh, one of them came, and I'm like, oh shit. What's this? What's these? She comes over, hugs me. Cool. She says the haircut. She said, oh my God, your haircut. This bitch happier for the haircut than I am. Which is already impossible because I'm the happiest. But she's somewhat. She's the happier. And it's crazy how happiest is the most happy you could be. And it's third. It goes happy, happier, happiest. But then happier could just keep on. Happier could just keep on bunny hopping over and being like, I'm the happiest. And then she could just be like, well, I'm still happier. I'm happier than your happiest. Like, whoa. Did you just brain ninja me? You just fruit ninja? Makabesa? With one swipe just like that? That's crazy. Anyway, seen him. Went inside the bar, doing my thing, pushing out these lyrics to a song called "Sleep" or something like that. You ever hear it? When you hear it, nothing for nothing. Um, and she calls me over, Max, Max. I walk on over. She's like. <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, that's cool and all. Actually, insert excuse here. She's like, okay, before you leave, like, give me a kiss. I'm like, nah, I'm good. 
Come on. No, I'm good. I'm like, hey, no. She was trying to ask what's the reason. I don't got to explain a damn thing to anybody. Let alone whatever you are right here. I don't say that. But I think it's so fast. As if it was already ingrained in me. I think so fast. And I say... I just got to go outside. Don't give a reason. I hear the question. And I just act like I did it. And said something else. You know when you ask, when you're talking to somebody and then they say something retarded because they're not paying attention, but they're trying to pretend like they're paying attention. The pretend tensions. We call it the pretend tension. And... And then you, they and they're like you'd be talking about yeah man the fox the fox was in the box and it was friends with the ox, and then your friends like, oh yeah man I love Akon and the locks and you're like what, the fuck are you, that's. That's. Was probably. Right underneath. In the top three tiers of pretend tension, because I wasn't doing it for pretend I heard everything. And I pretended so good, you would think I was fucking an actor. You would think I was in Hollywood making A-list. You would think I was Denzel in any movie he's ever played in a Denzel verse. You would think I am Denzel. Like, like with no prosthetics, you would look at me. And like, you with no prosthetics, no prosthetics, no bullshit. I'm being so fucking serious, so 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 serious. No bullshit. Without prosthetics, I could probably play Shaq or Jim Carrey, and I don't even need a white face. Like I would just, my body would. I will just. I'm a. I'm a. I'll, I'll chameleon myself, bro. Not even, not even communal. I'm an octopus. You put me in the role, I turn into the role. Whatever it is, you got it. But anyway. Anyways. Told this broad no. She pulled me in for a hug. I said, okay, I'll give you a hug then. Kiss, try to kiss my, my, my cheek or my crease type area. As I'm pulling away, like, what the fuck? And then kiss like right under my jaw, and everybody knows you don't kiss a, you don't kiss my neck. I, I, hey, if you're not someone I'm involved with, if you're not some bitch I'm involved with, you don't kiss my neck. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Why? Why? Just, just stop. Stop. Why? Would you do that? There's a better chance. There's a better chance. That you get. Kicked down some stairs. Than me allowing you. To kiss on my neck. On my neck piece like that. And then. I didn't say none of that. I took it. Played strategic with it. And just left. I was like oh okay okay. um, Okay bye. Went outside. And then I realized. I, th- I replayed everything in my head. Like it was a fucking LeBron James highlight. Replayed it like 10 times from all different angles. From court side, from nosebleeds, under the basket, over the basket, p- first POV, your POV, two POV, second person, third person. And I was like, you know what? I was assaulted. Just a very minor, minor bit. I was like, Jesus, shit. I'm me too. I've been me too. It happened to me too, you know? Nah, but on a serious note, yeah. I could just see that being a... That's like... I'm not trying to be one of those motherfucking dickhead motherfuckers who are just like, Oh, it happened to me, I believe it. Like, I don't believe in... I never believe in a chick getting graped up, but until I got graped, 
you know, until I got grapes. And now I believe in it. It's a real thing. It's like, dude, it's always been a real thing. Get your head out of the ass. Get your head out of the asshole. Too busy finger popping the on the asshole. Get your head out of the ass. But, you know, we joke about everything around here. It's an hour max, man. What you come here for? What you come here for? Weather reports? What you come here for? You came here? You know, this was a TED Talk or some shit? Am I a bad guy? Uh, I mean, like I said, I don't know. Am I a bad guy? Only a good guy would ask himself, Am I a bad guy? Too self aware. That's why my karma hits me fast. I don't even know what I did wrong. Sometimes, like, like, dude, I'm at work, right? I'm over here on Speak Cheesy, getting Speak Cheesed out. Well, hang on, before we even get into this topic. Smoke break. Oh, yeah. That was nice. So, when I was getting speak cheesed up, Swiss cheesed up. (laughs) Moving like a 16-wheel truck. Oh, my goodness. Gracious, dog. I'm about to rap after this, so. Ah, oh, man, getting too hyped. But anyway. Where was I? Oh, yeah, back to my karma being its usual self. Hey, karma. You just beautiful as ever. Hey, ain't she? Hey, my karma just so damn beautiful. Look at the way that skirt rides up her, her thigh when she sit down. You can almost see her pussy pick a bowing. Hey there. But, yeah. So I'm opening bottles of Coke for the customers. And it's the imported Cokes. It's the Mexican Coke. And it's something about that slender, sexy, moist, icy, sweaty body of a bottle that gets motherfuckers going. And when they say she's shaped like a Coke bottle... They're talking about the Mexican Coke bottles. They're talking about Mexican women. <laughs> Kidding. They're talking about all women. Jesus. Fuck. It's all this malarkey here. But. Yeah, man. Mexican women, Mexican Coke bottles, same thing. So it's out there. And. A lot of people in America are usually shaped like the. Regular bottles. Just putting that out there. Um, fuck Lizzo. Um, anyway, um, circles. I mean, uh, shit. Yes. Yeah, so, um. This is why my karma be karma, man. Because I I say shit like that. And I'm too self aware. My bullshit. So. I opened up the bottle for the guy and some of the plastic, not the plastic, some of the uh, the bottle, the bottle lip cracks and enters the drink. And I'm like, what the fuck? So I get another one and the customer sees me. He's like, I got him another one. He's like, I do it again. I'm like, what the hell? Now we're both amazed. He's like, what the hell? I was, I'm using, apparently I'm using the bottle opener the wrong way. Because the one that looked like it's going, ah, with his tongue sticking out, you don't use that one. You got to use the one that looks like the hook from I Know What You Did Last Summer. You got to use that one. So, after learning that fact, after being two Mexican imported Cokes in, now me and the customer are like, oh my God, dude. At this point... I'm both, we're both just like, hey, you get a bottle, I get a bottle, I just won't charge you for this, let's just eat down and just drink it. Because you don't say no to imported Coke, whether it's in the glass, sexy, sleek bottle, 
or in a sandwich, a corner of a sandwich bag, tied off with a knot. You don't say no to imported coke. You get that Mexican love dust, that Colombian quicksand, you get that, you get coke that's imported, it's important. If, do you don't say no to imported coke, whether it's in a J-Lo looking glass bottle. Oh, a little tiny Ziploc bag with Ace of Spades on it. Or a woman kicking up her legs on it. And why are those little bags so bitch to open? It's, it's like, I have no nails, so it's hard. But then if you have a lot of nails, it's also hard. Like, it's legit. Like, even the chick will be opening and be like, dude, this is a whole bitch and a half. Like, I need half another. It's a bitch and a half. And she'll be like, hey, I need half another bitch to help me open this. Because it's, frankly, it's nerve-wracking when you can't get your bag open. Or or you do this. You rip it before it opens. You just fucking rip it. Right above where it zips up at. So the zip is not locking, and the locking's not zipped. The zip ain't locked, and the lock thing zipped. What do you know? We got a, we got a satchel of bullshit on our hands right now, now, don't we, Mister Williams? Yes, yes, we do. Yes, 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 indeed, we do. Very much indeed, we do. Um. So I get them, I open it up correctly, I give it to them, and I give him a new one, he drinks it, and you know, I throw one away, one of the open bottles, but then I throw the other one, I keep it, because the way the lip looks chipped, it looks like the bottle's smiling at me, and I think I misgendered it, I thought it was a Mexican woman with a fine ass little body, and I was like, shit, I'm thirsty all of a sudden. Let me drink that. <laughs> so I tilted, I tilted that thing over, and I drank that. And then I remembered there was glass in it, just like all Mexican women. I did. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, I'm on borrowed time because I drank that, and now. It's a part of me. Probably a part of me for life. It's never going to leave my body. Odd. But isn't all women's lady parts just filled with like glass? Yeah. Paper mache titties, glass ass. It's life. Sometimes you have party city glasses and a Velcro hair in your voice and and, and a ribbit, you know, and a voice that goes ribbit. Someone told me that, and I was like, oh, damn, that's crazy. Said your party city glasses, your Velcro hair. And your ribbit, ribbit voice. And I was scorched. Went from planet Earth to Hades real fucking fast. But what do you think I did? You think I just... You think I just got burned? Because I did. Ah, man, drinking that glass, oh, that Coke, man, poured a Coke bottle, I almost borrowed time. I don't even know, I mean, I don't know how much was in it, I mean, I didn't, throw, I, didn't, I didn't drink the whole thing, I threw it away towards the end, but, wow, who would have thunk it? I did, but, 
Who would have drunk it? I did. But. But yeah, man, we all know the trap be booming. I speak cheesy. So, you know, I'm out there working a lot more. Took me a minute to get back on my podcast shit. But I'm back, bitches, again. I mean, I, I'm always back. I'm always back to back. I'm always back. I'm always spinal cording my way back. Um, Yeah, been working there. Trapping out pizza like, like crack cocaine. Pizza be moving. I had a few other slices and... Dude, no bit boppity bappity. Great. The, the 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 taste infused with the with the sourdough crust and all the natural ingredients. You would think it's bullshit, but it's good. It's a little pricey, but it makes sense why it's so pricey. It's a good type of pricey, because oh my god, this shit's so fucking. The owner, Jason, really knew what he was doing when he came up with this shit. And quite frankly, I'm here. Hey, if you sneeze in the forest and no one hears you, did you ever really sneeze? If no, if, if, if nobody blesses you did did you ever really get blessed i prefer someone say god bless you like cause, like that means you're going with the stereotypical capital g-o-d not one of the g-o-d's s g-o-d's s <laughs> um lowercase um god is in the soul god is, those god is in my dog's bowl shout out mess my rest in peace um, forgot where I was going. I must forget where I was going. I've been drinking. I've been smoking. Oh yeah. And uh, I remember them. Fucking blessed. Um. I don't want no pedophile blessing me. I don't rock with whatever they believe in. So, in theory, if you sneeze, if I sneeze in a room full of predos, did I really even sneeze at all? Um, that's a conundrum. It's one of them paradoxes we'll never unlock the true answer to. And, yeah, fuck them. Oh, man, so I had to speak cheesy, doing shit, making, working a lot of hours. I'm an opener. Yeah, yeah. Hour and a half. They gave me an hour and a half to open. They gave me an hour and a half to open. You remember at the Crab Shack? It took me, like, 35 minutes to open and had, and I had to do a lot more over here did it take me like first of all like 35 I don't know what the fuck am I saying it took me like 20 minutes or 25 I used to time it here I move accordingly and I get everything done correctly A A C accordingly and correctly I'm A A C and up in this business can't wait for my fucking paycheck. Don't even know how much I'm getting paid. is based on experience and all that. And I got a lot of that. Now don't I? Got a lot of that. Now don't I? Got too much of that when it comes to working. But yeah, can't wait for this paycheck, man. Studio time and seafood is all the nigga is thinking about. Yeah. And getting my ID so I can go get some fucking... Some fucking drinks and watch the games at bars. Because, dude, NBA season's here. So, it's no time to dick around. But, yeah. And. and it's spooky season? It's motherfucking spooky season. It's spooky season. It's spooky season. Love it. 
love it. Love it so damn much. Love it so damn much on the next podcast. On the next hour with Max. On the next hour with Max. Next time on an hour with Max. It's practicing how I'm going to. On the next episode of an hour with Max. Stand fucked up. On the next episode of an hour Max with Max. Hang on, I got it. Hang on. This is uncut, so enjoy it. Okay, here we go. On another fucked up. On the next hour of an hour max with Max, we bring to you spooky stories found on the abyss of Reddit. Yep. We're going to go over some Reddit scary stories or we might go over, I might go over, I'll go over a few Reddit scary stories. I'll read some scary stories. I'll try, I'll find a couple short ones so y'all can hear this voice. So I hope y'all ready to get spooked out and and swooped out because it's about to get soaking wet up in them britches. I'll read a couple short stories, a few Reddit horror stories. You know, keep it real Halloween-y, keep it on themes. Because we're going to try and squeeze out as many Halloween-themed episodes as possible. So you might get, you might get three this month. You know? Might get five total podcasts, three this month, you know? But, yeah. Kind of similar to, I mean, I got the idea, and I really, 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 like, uh, scared to death. It was Dan Cummings and his wife. Um, Just type that in, it should pop up. It should pop up. I forgot the name of his actual production thing, but that should pop up right away. It's really good. I thoroughly enjoy listening to those stories. They got some nice reading voices. They got nice. They got some nice back and forth, nice banter, and they always do this year round too. But I, I mean, I don't like listen to them. Like I used to listen to them. I used to listen to them a lot when I used to work these warehouse jobs, and I'd have to wake up at like four in the morning just to go catch the bus. And I always work the warehouse jobs, and it'd be like winter time, so it's dark as a motherfucker until eight o'clock. And I would like just be walking because there's always be some long ass distance because there's no warehouses in Long Beach. They're all Carson or Santa something or something. There's, they're hella far places. No LB Transit bus takes you there. See, that's how far it is. It's out, it's out of jurisdiction. So I'm out of jurisdiction, and I'm over there, and I'll be listening to these stories, and it's like, they were scary. They were good. I'm going to start listening to them, like, late night when I'm walking home from the bar and shit like that. I'm going to, like, try and have a story on. But since my phone isn't on, I might just have to, like, download a story and come home, and, like, when I'm walking, listen to it. But, yeah. Fucking check out Scared to Death. And shout out Kill Count by Dead Meat. Like the show you be doing. Search Dead Meat. And it's a thing called Kill Count. All the horror movies. <laughs> There's another one called like Nerd Nose or something like that. Nerd something. And like that's a different one too. And like it's like how to beat how to beat this game, how to beat Saw, how to beat this movie, how to beat this, how to beat that. And this one, called Dead Meat, is Kill Count. He does a Kill Count thing. And it's fucking dope. Counts all the kills in the movie. Talks about it. Talks about a little behind the scenes. The people who produced it. Yada, yada. Blah, blah, blah. Et cetera, et cetera. And I love it. I love it. Yay. Yay, overload. Yay, 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 yay. <laughs> um, 
what's the other one called? It was a nerd. I want to make sure I shout him out too. So we got scared to death with Dan Cummings. Type that in. Let's see. Under it's called bad something, bad magic productions. And then you have kill count by dead meat. And then nerd knows how to win. Let me type that in. Hang on. Apparently I'm not searching this enough. Huh. Huh. What was the one I, I liked? I don't think it's... I don't think it's... It's not... It's not popping up. Hmm. The nerd knows? Hang on, maybe I should type that. Oh, is it... Oh, Nerd Explains. Okay, I think it's... Yes, yeah, Nerd Explains. So, how it's, it's called... You know, yeah, there's all those how to... How to beat. Nice, yeah. So, Nerd Explains how to beat Kill Count by... Dead Me and Scared to Death with Dan Cummings by Bad Magic Productions. There we go. We got through that. It was a bitch and a half. But we got through it. Just the upper torso. I want to look at that. I want to look at that face. <laughs> um, Florida back at it again, by the way. Florida back at it again. <sighs> Is there anything Florida won't do? To be Florida. I guess not. I guess not. Smoke break. But a live smoke break. No cut. I hate distillates. Distillates. But. I'm trying to kill this pen. This Jeter juice. Distillates are cool. But I've upgraded to live res. I'm an experienced smoker. You know. Smoke break. Hit whatever you like. Because you can smoke whatever you like. Yeah. It could be weed. It could be coke. Yeah, that's called crack. You could even smoke meth. Yeah, this is your pipe. And you can smoke whatever you like. Yeah. <laughs> okay, back to Florida being Florida. Um. So imagine this. Here's a scenario. You're in fourth grade. You go to class. You remember all of a sudden. You're in Miami. Not only are you in. Miami. You're also in a math class. But today's not no regular day in a Miami math class. Oh, no, this is not. Oh, this is about 200,000 yards. Actually, this is about 200 yards from it. Far, but not possible. You're not doing any math. Instead, you're about to watch a movie. And you're watching Winnie the Pooh. Black Sheep. 
blood and honey. Now, kids, you look around, you see your peers. Because you're in fourth grade. You're supposed to be in the math class. But you're also in Miami. And you watch your Winnie the Pooh. Blood and honey. You watching at least 25 minutes of it. Teacher's not paying attention. Your fourth grade mind has seen 25 minutes. Of Winnie the Pooh. Blood and honey. In a math class. In Miami. Have not seen the movie yet. But from what I know. to To my knowledge. There's titties in the opening scene. First kill type shit. Kanye shrug. Hmm. Uh. Now you think to your fourth grade self. What the fuck is going on? You beg your teacher to turn it off. And he says. No. You watch this. This is your movie. You pick. That's happened. That happened. That happened. That happened. According to the AV Club article, as if whatever's going on in the United States education system isn't bad enough, a group of Florida fourth graders are now having their mental health actively monitored. Monitored after being accidentally shown the way the poo. B movie slasher in class. Not only is it a B movie, I heard it was trash. I'll verify that later. Through my own experimentation. Gone are the days when the substitute might roll on a television set and pop in a schoolhouse rock. VHS. According to one parent of the Academy of Innovative Education, a K-12 charter school in Miami Springs. These kids watched 20 to 30 minutes of Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey in their math class. A movie they apparently picked themselves. It's not for them to decide what they want to. The parent lamented to CBS News. It's up to the professor to look at the content. Teacher didn't give a fuck. I get it. It's spooky season. I get it. It's spooky season. I get it. But. A fourth grader. She's some rich good A knife through her hair. And titties flopping around. But Winnie the Pooh is just on a mesh with Piglet to get some blood and honey. This is not a horror film. This is a gangster flick with a with a with a hint of horror. Uh he didn't stop the movie even though there were kids saying, Hey, stop the movie. We don't want this. Just imagine the teacher's like, Hey, you picked this shit. You're going to watch. You, you, lay, you, you, you made your bed. You're going to lay in it. Oh, fuck, teach. I mean, aren't teachers there to teach? Really? I'm on the teacher's side. A lesson was to be taught, and he taught. They had to find out sooner or later. You fuck with a nigga's blood and honey, you're gonna get a knife stabbed through your fucking, through your windpipe, and your titties are gonna be flopping around, or your wiener, or whatever the fuck you got. Cause you got something. You ain't no Barbie and Kim doll, you got something. And it's gonna be flopping in the wind as you, as you stabbed in your, in your fucking frontal lobe. Permanently signed off. Into the nether, into the nether regions, into into fucking the abyss of the abyss, inside of God's asshole, just swimming in it until he figures out what he's gonna do with you, to the shitter or to the to the quitter. What are you doing? 
I don't know what the fuck that means, but fuck. Fuck. We never know what anything means. Uh, let's read this little Reddit thing. Um... That's just my household. Let's read a little interaction between the scammer, the Snapchat scammer. Um, let's read it. So the scammer's name is Linda. Versus our pasta connoisseur. You know, we'll call. We'll just call him. We'll just call him a pasta head. So we got Linda versus the pasta head. He sa- she says, hey, what's up? And he says, eating pasta. Linda says, oh, what town do you live in? Mr. Pasta Head says, sometimes Florida. Can you answer a question for me? Linda says, okay, sure. Now, this is where I don't need to keep on naming a guy. I'm just going to go through. I'm just going to read. What's your favorite pasta? He says. She says, I don't like pasta. I had a friend who didn't like it either. She has some weird disorder. Though that make... Though that make her have... Though that may be true... She has 14 times less taste buds than the average person. Kind of crazy. Why don't you like pasta? She says, I don't like pasta anyway. And he said, not even rigatoni. She says, my favorite thing is to drink. He says, I've been known to put back a drink or two. They called me slightly blessed by the tism back in my prime. (laughs) <laughs> hey dude what do you, what's your name slightly blessed by the tism what's yours my name's nick gar god she says scam scam likely linda says oh really Yes, ma'am. How old are you? He says, H tis but a number. Linda says, yeah. Where do you live in Florida? He says, I'm a traveler, so I kind of bebop around. Never stay in the same place twice, you know what I'm saying? Scam likely, Linda says, sounds good. He says, you're asking a lot of info on me. And all I know about you is that you hate pasta, which is a sin, BT dub. She said, why? He says, because fire flame emoji. Linda says, I also live in Florida, which is why I asked you. He says, actually? Question mark. What are the odds? In God we trust, all caps. Um, probably some guy scammer living in India. Linda says, yeah, what are you looking for? A bed partner, question mark? He says, priority numero uno. Must be able to consume pasta with me. Scam likely, but a thousand percent certain. Linda says, Okay, but are you interested? He said, in pasta? I thought I made that very clear. She says, I mean, do you want to hook up with me? He says, if you made me pasta, I would strongly consider it. She said, if you were interested, then I agree to eat pasta with you. He says, holy fuck, my dream. Send me a pasta pic so I know you're real. Because I've had dreams about this very situation. She says, I don't eat pasta, so you can see how I could give a picture, how I can't give you a picture of pasta. You can see me. He said, look one up. You could be one of those AI robots that Elon tells me about. (laughs) 
she sends him a picture and he's he opens it and apparently i guess it wasn't a picture of pasta it was a picture of like i guess her pussy or something but it's absolutely not a pasta pic he says hmm still suspicious until the pasta she refers to she replies to her own text on snapchat saying her own chat her own reply referring to him telling him like hey i already told you i don't eat pasta so i can't give you a picture of it he says well so be it linda said are we using your house or motel he said i told you robot lady the proof is in the pasta no pasta pics no meetup she said okay wait sends him the most stock image photo of all time of some pasta my nigga says god damn them noodles woof okay i'm gonna be honest dot 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 this is really doing it for me can i get one more (laughs) oh the noodles are woofing okay he said you already know she said pasta pics and he said you already know cool guy with the glasses emoji two of them she sends another top three stock image of a different type of pasta i need to get my pasta knowledge up i don't know too much about pasta but apparently it comes in all shapes and forms so she sends a picture of some, you know, it's like a red golden pasta. The other one was like more like angel noodled out. This is more like those little, those little macaroni noodles looking thing with the meat. He says, all right, I'm fucking ready now. When when and where? Misspells where? Cool. Scam likely Linda says, your house. What time do you want to do it? He says... I live above an Italian restaurant, if that's okay with you. Can we yesterday? I mean, tomorrow? Fuck. I always mix those two up. Scam likely Linda says, okay, but do you know my charge? He says, yeah, we got phone charges up in here. (laughs) Don't worry, I keep it classy. Nigga said, yeah, we got phone chargers up in here. Don't worry. I keep it classy. Totally glossed over the question. Similar to when I got me too in the bar, but that one crazy bitch. Just purposely, on purpose, looks like an accident, purposely, just glided over. She said, okay, but do you know my charge? And he said, yeah, we got phone chargers up in here. Don't worry. I keep it classy. Linda hits him with a LOL. I'm an escort girl, so it's my profession, and I make money from my partners. He said, do you take Linguini as a form of payment? Linda says, yes, $40 for booking and $60 after having sex. He said, "Erf, <laughs> go hard. Question mark. And Linda's just as confused as me, because her following reply was, what? I don't understand. Are you interested? Fuck with me. He says, what? I thought we were setting up a pasta date. Linda says, I told you, I'm an escort girl. You didn't answer my questions, yes or no. If you agree, tell me. If you don't, I'll sleep. Because this is 1224 AM. Demon times, even for scam bots. He says, I have a proposition for you. Linda says, yes. And that's the toilet flushing. Should I be pissed? Yes. Am I pissed? Kinda. Am I going to do anything about it? No. Am I going to let it affect me? Of course not. But am I going to compartmentalize it? And when I go and walk around, they're going to wonder, hey, why are you so upset? Why are you so pissed looking? And then I, am I going to trauma dump it? Maybe. But I'll try not to. I give you a Scott's honor. Anyway, back to... Back to me and Linda not understanding. So he said, Erf, go hard. Scam likely Linda says, What? I don't understand. Are you interested? Fuck with me. He says, What? I thought we were setting up a pasta date. 
Linda says, I told you, I'm an escort girl. You didn't answer my question. Yes or no. If you agree, tell me. If you don't, I'll sleep. He says, I have a proposition for you. Linda says, yes. I pay you the same. He says, I pay you the same, but we eat some noodles instead. I'm talking 10 out of 10 noodles. Slightly blessed by the tis and don't fucking lie ever. Swear on the spaghetti Bible. <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? I wish he had his name. Instead, I'm reading it because it's in the perspective of me. It's a first person's perspective. I wish I was third person in this. Who the fuck is this slightly blessed by the two? He said, I have a proposition for you. I pay you the same, but we eat some noodles instead. I'm talking 10 out of 10 noodles. Slightly blessed by the tism. Don't fucking lie. Ever. Swear on the spaghetti Bible. This nigga done literally put it on mom's spaghetti. Crazy. Crazy. So Linda, a.k.a. Scambot, says, okay, but you need to confirm the booking first. He says, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Scam likely Linda says, Lol, are you interested? Yes or no? I'll sleeping. See, already making a lot of misspellings. You either in India scamming niggas, or you're uh, you're one of them bots that Elon Musk is talking about. So he says he follows up with a that depends. Can you send me one more picture of that sweet, sweet pasta? Then the money's coming. I just need one more. Just one. One little one. Scam likely Linda replies with an okay. He says, fuck yes. She sends him some more of that yellow pasta. Yellow little macaroni eggshells on top of some meat. He said, God damn, look at that shit. Heavenly. Scam likely Linda says, so now you confirm the booking and give me your Addy? He says, tell me what steps must I take, Pasta Jesus? (laughs) Linda says, I don't know. Then she replies to her own message about the confirming of the the confirmation of the booking she said yes or no he said the answer is yes but i need to shower quick brb also i'm only paying if you send me one more pick i accept that picked when i get out money she says okay what's your favorite what's your payment methods then she sends some uncooked pot and now she starts fucking up now, this is a collection. There's like everyone from the pasta family is here, but it's just uncooked noodles just everywhere. It's uncooked. She's flacking. He replies with, Well, I pay my rent in fettuccine. Don't mind me. I'm going to screenshot all these pasta pics right quick. Sweaty, hot emoji. Blowing out smoke, blowing out smoke emoji. Now, as you can tell, Flushed again. For no reason. Because it's too unnecessary flush. Flushed again. Am I pissed? Absolutely. Do I want to get up and say something? Yeah, that's your sweet ass I do. Am I going to? No. Will I say something as soon as I'm done with this? Yeah. Yeah. Am I gonna am I gonna put this deep deep down? Oh my god. Oh my gosh, she flushed it again. Am I fuming? Is there smoke coming out of my earlobes? Abso fucking lutely. 
Am I gonna pause the cast or stop it in any in any what in any in, in, in any in any fashion, shape, or form? No. Am I most likely gonna have to do three pull ups really, really slowly? Yeah. Definitely. Anyway, let's get back to the conclusion of this pasta. He says, well, I paid my rent in fettuccine. Don't mind me. I'm going to screenshot all these pasta pics right quick. Hot, sweaty, tongue out emoji. Blown out smoke emoji. Blown out smoke emoji. Linda says, okay, what's your payment methods? Linda, question mark, question mark. He says, do you take fettuccine, rigatoni, linguine? Linda says, okay, what's your payment methods? Replying to herself again saying, I told you. Linda says, you have Venmo or Apple Pay? He says, I have something even better. She says, what? I understand. Are you kidding me? Right then and there, you find out this is most... Bye. Sister's leaving. I'm not mad anymore. Hope she's safe. Anyway. She says, you have Venmo or Apple Pay? He says, I have something even better. She says, what? I understand. Are you kidding me? Right then and there, you know 100% with absolute certainty that this is a robot from India. This is an India. This is definitely a scam. Anyway, that's why, I mean, any sane, breathing person would accept payment in pasta. The fact that this robot's all shaky on the fact that you know it's all flimsy on the fact they might get paid in some rigatoni some fed some they do come on personally i'll take the fettuccine i'll take a chicken fettuccine or an alfredo bring it to me we good you know she says what i understand you kidding me he says i'm not even kidding you in god we trust all caps again she said, then confirm the booking. What do you want to pay through? He says, Pene? <laughs> Linda says, Apple Pay or Venmo? He says, I have Venmo, but like, how do I know you aren't trying to scam me? How about this? You send me $10 and I send you the $50 right after. So I know you are legit. Linda says, lol, I'm real, okay? He says, the $10 are approved. It's ironclad, macaroni, brony type shit. Guy relaxes his macaroni. Scam likely, Linda says, are you kidding with me, honey? It's my profession, so I got to make money for my partner, blah, 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 any money. He said, I swear on all that. It's Cavatelli. Once you confirm your existence by saying the $10 first, boom, $50 sent. She said, can I share my Venmo? He, scam likely, Linda says, I will not scam you because it's my profession. If you give, then say otherwise, bye. He said, ain't no way I'm sending you at first. Linda says, I told you otherwise. Bye. He said, but her pasta face, crying emoji, sad eye emojis, and then blocked. <sighs> that story had everything, didn't it? Jesus Christ. What a. Whew. Wow. Wow. Any sane, blooded, real person who had took the pasta payment. That motherfucker ain't real. Oh, man. Anyway. I got pasta on the Dizom now. Got pasta and a design. Let's check out this harvest season trailer and head out of here. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus. I'm hungry as a motherfucker now. Um, harvest season. I think it's called Dark Harvest. There it is. Dark Harvest. 
Um, yeah, it's based on the book, a novel by Norman Partridge. Partridge, Norman Partridge, the 2006 horror novel. The book is set in Hamlet, where its young men must confront a creature each year in the hopes that they would win a desirable prize. Nice. Every Halloween becomes a brutal battle for survival. Nice. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. And that's not what I wanted to watch. They thought it knew me. They thought it knew me. Here it is, Dark Harvest. And we're going to do what we do best, which is we're going to listen to the fucking trailer. So here we go. Sawtooth Jack is going to rise from the cornfields. It's got to be stopped. Kill or be killed. Damn. We all heard the stories. All right, sounds crazy. We failed at our duties. And that black dust destroyed our crops, our lives. It must die. No peeking. So we can live. Your sacred duty is to take down Sawtooth Jack before that church bell rings at midnight. You really think that's real? I saw it. It's real. Ooh. That motherfucker is not you real, it? but I guess it's real. Oh shit, what the hell was that? Did you kill it? Then let's go kill it. I'm already with whoever that was. Good you idea. Should do it. You know I'm not allowed. Just because your brother won the run last year? That thing isn't dead by midnight. This whole town is going straight to hell. I want to go home. I want to go home. You think you're special? Why are you doing this? If you're born in this town, you're cursed. I'm ending this tonight. Oh shit! It ain't over. Okay, October 13th, let's go. By the way, I forgot to mention um, Chronicles of Chronic, my team. <sighs> we we uh, went back to back again. We won back to back first place in the Wii Trivia. The Wii Trivia last time we did it, if you remember that, we talked about that. And we won again this time. Dude, we're just too good. And we all help out. We all chime in. I had a few last minute answers that were just like there was one question in particular about like who is this redhead country singer? Something, 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 something about statue of and I'm like, I'm like, fuck man. I know it's supposed to be a guy, but I'm thinking Reba. Cause Reba's redhead and it's country. And once I hear redhead and country, I think Reba. I hear redhead. I I think Chucky doll. It's like at certain words, but I, I, but last minute I was like Willie knows it. Willie knows it. Right there, Willie knows it. It's, well, it. We wrote it down. Wait, that Willie knows it. We wrote it down. And I had some questions. I knew it was gonna be a little horror based because it was ho- towards Halloween. So you know, weed and horror movies. I'm fucking. That's that's me. Like I said, I'm practically weed and horror movies. Like I said. Heard it was a stereotype. Heard it was a stereotype for what for uh, for for Mexican Mexican girls. And then, like I said, guess what? I guess I'm a Mexican girl. <laughs> Eating hot Cheetos first thing in the morning, not ten a.m. but seven a.m. And I watch horror movies. That's me. I guess that's me. Um, that's that's me. If you ask me, um. But. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yes. I'm fucking hungry, man. I got spaghetti on the dome. That movie was Dark Harvest. <laughs> Watch that. Uh, check out the 30 minute 
or less. And the 15 minute leftovers, I got my boy Progress on the base. But damn, damn. Um, the next thing that should be up on there is Fear Farm. Hopefully, it's already out. If my ass puts it out, and you can see it right there. So, if you haven't, go check out Fear Farm. And if you have, hey, what a fucking crazy ass movie, huh? IYK, YK. Nothing for you, nothing EP coming soon. Oh my gosh. Shit sounds amazing. Subscribe, follow, share, drop your thoughts in the comments. Tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why I'm like this. If you know, you know. Um, And yeah, that's it. We. We, uh. We just gonna bounce up out of here. We gonna. We gonna. Make some food to eat. Probably grab me a chimichanga. I don't think I got any pasta, unfortunately. Uh, reply some, reply some messages. Put on some fucking stupid shit. Knock out these five, three to five pull-ups. Throughout the day, you know. Real slow, like. The up with the pulls. The pull of the ups. <laughs> Whatever you call them, I'm gonna do them. And, uh, yeah. And, yeah. So, this has been, this has been an hour max with Maxi. Yay. And, um, uh, I'll fucking see you when I see you. Peace.